Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, share the live broadcast on social media live if you can share to a couple of groups as the Spirit of God leads you. Let God touch you tonight. I'm talking about breaking curses, breaking curses. Today we are dealing with things that have been established, foundations that have been established beyond us. Let God do something tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God touch you, open up things that no man can take credit of. Amen. God, we thank you. And I thank you because when I pray, you hear me, Lord. Amen. Thank you for hearing me, God. Thank Amen. you for hearing me. Amen. I pray for anybody online tonight. You have come yes. with a strong spirit. Amen. With a strong spirit. You are asking God many questions. Let the Lord vindicate you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. We thank you for your presence, Lord. Your presence is heaven. Your presence is heaven. Your presence is heaven, Lord. Your presence is heaven. Your presence is heaven tonight. Your presence is heaven. No demon, no demon, Lord. No demon. Nothing, Lord. No stronghold. No stronghold. No strong men. Strong men. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Let every curse be broken. I'm here online. I see your people, Lord. I see those Sita. God bless you. God bless you tonight. Let the Lord touch you, Frida. God bless you. I, I can't hear you, Frida. Are you there? Mahala got this year. Don't sit to share the live broadcast on your timeline. Let someone be touched tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you're great. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see those Sita. I see Stacy over here. Para da Bazia, Dalaga de Shia, Zinta Bracata Labreha, Zicata Labrava, pray right now. Yizi Bracata Labreha. There's a link of Zoom right there on social media. Kara da Zieta. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. <clears throat> In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus. Father, thank you for this prophetic atmosphere tonight. Thank you for the atmosphere, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your disappointment is an appointment. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Any disappointment you have faced across the week, any pain you have encountered Amen. is not just pain. Amen. I see, I see Dinka, praise God, all the way from Canada. God bless you. Distance is not a barrier, Frida. Hallelujah, Nairobi. Shalom, shalom, prophet. Bless you, bless you, bless you. More grace. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Dinka, what's the testimony? <laughs> I prophesy to uh, you. <laughs> yeah, prophet, uh, that prophecy was extremely very deep extremely it was very deep and then you yep. gave me a prophetic instruction that i'm supposed to follow mm, uh, uh, from the prophecy uh, i told you that i was planning to do a different kind of job as i go start some other business like a taxi or go to school whatever but you gave me the right instruction and uh, i'm on the process of getting uh, that driving license now the driving lessons I talked about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Inka, tonight, yes, uh, something God will break. What has been Amen. Break in your life? Amen. Amen. What going to break. As I'm about Amen. to teach, in the middle of teaching, the unction of the Spirit will come so strong. And God will bring something in the light that needs to be brought in the light. As Amen. I'm at the Amen. God, Amen. something tonight that is extraordinary. You know, Amen. you shall not the truth, and the truth shall set you free. It is not exactly. about, uh, you know, fasting is good, but if you fast without revelation, you are starving mm -hmm. yourself. So tonight, we yeah. are going to Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Amen. Amen. 
fast Amen. without revelation, you are going on a hunger strike. Yeah. So for these 90 mm -hmm. days, God is going on a hunger strike. Amen. Period. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Kala bahala this year. Some of you, you will fast. The only thing we will see is the neck. Praise God. It's okay. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, hallelujah. Praise God. I'm an example. Hallelujah. Yeah. Slowly by slowly. Mm. We are getting there. Sata lagadu, shia lagadu, siya. So today I want to talk about something very deep as you're watching me online, on social media. I want to talk about something very deep. Is my social media on? Yes. I want to talk about something very deep. I want to talk about breaking curses. You know, when you go to Deuteronomy 5, 9, it says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am jealous and, and visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation, them that hate me. Listen, generational blessings is different from generational curses. Mm -hmm. The only way you can counterattack a generational curse is by entering in a covenant with God to mm -hmm. start to open up a door for generational blessings. There are families who partake of the generational blessings. When you find yourself struggling and it doesn't seem to end, there must be a generational curse that is stubborn, that doesn't want to live. Now, curses don't care if you're educated, you have master's degree, PhD, mm -hmm. curses don't care. Don't. A curse is a curse. How many people you know you are in school with right now? They are crackheads. <laughs> mm. Maybe I said it too, too harsh. Wow. No, that's true. How many people you know? <laughs> in class, they were talking. <laughs> oh, praise God. Oh, you guys know, eh? Yeah. Lunch, praise God. Oh, how many do you got? How many? How many are the folks, even brothers, even siblings you grow with that are crackheads? When I say, maybe crackhead is the one very heavy. Well, let me try and use the word. They're, they're lost. True. They're literally lost. True. Like someone is literally lost. Yet they have everything they need, but they put it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And they go every night. Liquor is the only way to escape a pain that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Why? Because education or being learned cannot solve this issue. Mm -hmm. Physical things and spiritual things. Physical things are physical. Spiritual are spiritual. Some physical things need a spiritual revelation. And once you have the spiritual revelation, it's very easy to know where you're supposed to be. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I know a lady, a nurse, got everything. CNA went past that. I don't remember exactly what she said. But this lady, every time she tried, you know, to invest, and she has good, like, vision and everything, it's like something comes and she loses her mind. She ends up ranting and venting to everybody her problems. It's like her problems become so big that she leaves everything that she's pursuing. Some of you are facing this, or you might have struggled with this. Have you ever asked yourself why they use the word? When you start doing things that don't make sense, why do people say you've lost your mind? Mm -hmm. Why do they say you've lost your mind? Because you gotta understand the body of a human, there is the soul, spirit, which, which is where the heart is, and you have a physical body. So when you hear this woman lost her mind, it means she has lost her consciousness. The soul is your mind. The soul is your mind. Your heart is where your spirit dwells and you have a physical body. So someone wakes up one day, they stop doing everything they're doing and they quit. Very nice corporate job. Who has seen that? Someone who has a nice corporate job, CEO on the top. One day they wake up, they're like, I can't do this anymore. They make a lot of money, live in a very nice house, expensive cars, Ferrari, Lamborghini, name it all. Everything a man could ever want in this life. People are coveting, desiring to get to that position. But this CEO wakes up one day 
he slept on the wrong side of the bed. Mm-hmm. And he loses his mind. Mm-hmm. He says, I'm done. They ask him, what's going on? I'm resigning. What's the reason? I just, I'm tired. Do they look tired? No. They're always going on vacations. You see them in Hawaii. You see them in whatever, Malaysia. For a whole two months, they're having fun. But when they get to work, they quit. Who has seen them? Someone who decides to say, I can't do it no more. Who has seen them? Yeah. Even somebody in your family. They're like, I don't really, I don't want no more. That's what we call losing your mind. Mm-hmm. Now, what we call mental depression, we say anxiety, we say bipolar, we say schizophrenia. We have many names we can give it. All these things begin in the spirit. When you pursue a career, you want to pursue this career. Five years ago, you had planned to read a book of real estate, to invest in real estate, to buy properties. Suddenly, you lose your mind. Now, losing your mind is when it's not when you necessarily say, ah, I'm angry, and you start fighting with people like, or something just triggers you. No, it's like you lose your mind. You have no control over your mind. Something else has taken over your mind. An invisible force is giving you crazy imagination, crazy visions. When you start thinking like, I'm not interested anymore. So you think you have lost interest. But what's happening is mentally, you have lost your mind. Mm -hmm. You don't even know you've lost your mind. (laughs) People use words and say, you're crazy. Are you in your right mind? Where's your brain? We use words like that when we see somebody acting crazy. Mm -hmm. Or they say stuff that don't make sense. If you see somebody excessively insulting and aggressive, from nowhere, they they go off. There's something wrong with your soul. So tonight, let the Lord bring your soul here. Because your soul needs to be at peace so that you may be able to fulfill the vision God has given you. If your soul is not at peace, then there is something hijacking your soul. Right. Constantly. And you can be hijacked at least 20 times. Whenever you're sleeping, you see, it's like you're not even dreaming. You're thinking of crazy things. That the moment you wake up like this, you're like this, tired. You don't even know what to do because your body is super exhausted. Why? Because your mind has been hijacked all night. Mm -hmm. People call it overthinking. It's not overthinking. It's not the will of God. Because your mind is what defines you a lot. I usually say the craziest sickness is not cancer. All these sicknesses we have out here. The craziest sickness is when your mind, Amen. you have no control of it. Amen. Because Amen. cancer, you can beat it with chemotherapy. Amen. Other sicknesses, you can use herbal medicine, whatever. Come on. Dr. Sebi was there. Praise God. Come on. I mean, you can get some herbs and check it down. Mucus, remove it out of your brain. Amen. All right, praise God. But the worst part is losing your mind. Amen. So I want to ask you a question tonight. Have you lost your mind? How comes you had a vision two years ago that was so well written, you threw it down, you are ready to go do it, but something from nowhere pulled you into something very different. But your passion two years ago was very different. And after two years, then after two years again, you have a different passion. After two years again, you have a different passion. After two years again, you have a different passion with a different mentality. There's a problem. Yeah. It's a yeah. sign of a curse. Yeah. Oh, am I making yeah. something yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Go to school. Parents can scream to you, go finish your university. Look at your uncle, a doctor. You're not going to be the first one who's a bamboo. All kind of names. Mm-hmm. You won't be the first idiot in our family. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we all smart. No one is slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you're sitting with your folks, they, they say things uh-huh. that are heartbreaking. Are you slow, son? Did you need a slap? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For real. You know, you think you've grown. Uh. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> go jump on a degree, 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 and see where it will take you. If you don't deal with what you got to deal with right. spiritually, yeah. if you don't deal with it spiritually, there's a problem. Amen. It is revelation that opens that door for you to know your destination. When you have the right revelation from God, you will know the right steps to take and the destination you're going is clear. Amen. When you shoot, you shoot accurately. Come on. Amen. Not having a vision and revelation is like someone has been put, imagine a, somebody in the army, there's another country fighting and you're one of the guys holding the gun at the front <laughs> of the battle. Your enemies are dressed in green. You're dressed in blue. All right, combat uniform. Mm -hmm. Instead of you shooting your enemies, you're shooting in the air. <laughs> or you're shooting backwards, you're mad. So you're even your own people will say, okay, this one went Come on, talk to the Maybe something was shot and you went crazy. Come on, talk to the Is he bleeding? What was going on? <laughs> it's gone crazy. It's like shooting in the air. Mm -hmm. You can't shoot. You can't shoot. You can't shoot five birds. How can I put it? With one rock. You can hit five birds with one rock. Mm -hmm. Take the first rock, okay? Mm -hmm. You have in your hands. If that's the specific bird you want, you know, back in, uh, in the South, especially in the South, they still do it there. They hunt goose that fly, mm -hmm. right? I wanted to get into that business. But look, look, I know what happened to me and yeah. God rebuke me. <laughs> the, the revelation of goose, huh? <laughs> A goose did something to me, but anyway, yes. <laughs> goose are not innocent. Praise God. So, <laughs> oh, have you loving. oh God. Have you <laughs> All right. So, uh, praise God. Amen. You cannot shoot five birds. What is that shame shooting? Let me reverse it again. I'm going back to the goose. No, you cannot. <laughs> I don't know how I'm seeing guns. You cannot take one rock and hit five birds. Mm -hmm. If you do that and you're convinced you can do that, you're mad. <laughs> you see, the worst part is being mad and you don't know you're mad. Mm -hmm. so Did you hear what I said? So There's a lot of people who are insane. They drive themselves, they dress themselves up nice. Mm -hmm. One lady, she began overdressing one time, and I, I, I told Professor Trinity, she started putting lipstick all the way from here. <laughs> and I said, no, this, this one right here is exaggerating. Like, it started from here. Yeah? It started going, mm, a little bit extra. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Praise God. A joker. Yeah, I started doing a choker. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> but tonight, I want to deal with something really serious, honestly. Breaking breaking curses mm -hmm. breaking curses Amen. Josh Diaz breaking curses Amen. Carisha Carisha Ruzan breaking curses that are stubborn Amen. the thing about curses they're hidden you know what I'm Amen. you might think oh curse is just a sickness a certain sickness or poverty when we hear curse oh the first thing we think of is poverty right mm -hmm. listen even if someone gives you 10 million right now and you have a curse on you, let me tell you the truth. And I, I repeat this, hear me clearly. I know people who went and hit the jackpot and won 20 million in one year. They don't know where to stay. Come on. Oh, it looks strange. Come on. In one year. Who has seen that? Yeah. Someone hit the jackpot, 50 million. Mm -hmm. After one year, they're, they're, they're asking, they're in debt. You wonder how? A demon drives them to go gamble. Oh, yeah. From, from, they never used to gamble, but they, they got the money, a demon just ends them. Why? No, because no, the no. demon doesn't care. It's like you're under a curse. Come on. When you're under a curse, you are like under an oath, a demonic oath, a family oath, that in this family of Jackson or Brianna, like there's a certain things that need to happen in certain seasons. Amen. So it's like a blood pattern that keeps repeating itself over and over. You go to hospital, they, you they get they, they find out you have kidney. They ask you, did your father have kidney? Because they want to know if it's in the blood. Mm -hmm. So blood patterns are things that repeat themselves over and over. But now being spiritual, 
and having a spiritual revelation, you will understand your problem is not your investment. Your problem is not your education. No. That's not your problem. Your problem is bringing back your soul to Amen. sanity. Amen. Amen. I want to ask you a question. You're watching me online. Where is your soul? If this is you I'm describing, you know, when I teach, some of you are like, dang, that's exactly how I am. I'm not just teaching, I'm prophesying. Yeah. Amen. And you're like, this is me. That's why whenever I teach, you're like, oh my God, the exact thing happens to me. I'm talking to someone. Every time I teach, you're like, dang, this is the exact thing that is happening to me. Mm -hmm. There are families. When men hit their 20s, they all go to prison. Everybody got to enter prison. I come from a family like that. Oh, yeah. Did not rob anybody with a gun. Praise God. Mm. But for some reason, they said they want to lock me up for 10 years. Mm. Who did I? Who, I'm not an arm robber. Like, who did I squeeze? Mm. You're, like, you're looking at the judge. He does it with a passion. Oh, yeah. Mm. You're like, hey. As if we know each other, as if I've, I've done something <laughs> and you, you want to like, that's still something from you, the judge <laughs> like this. That's what a cast does. Yeah. A cast, it makes a judge look at you like a, a guilty without even wanting to hear what you have to say. How many people are in prison now who are convicted wrongly? Yeah. They get out when they're 72. Now, oh. when you get out when you're 72, what are you going to do in life? No. Oh. Even the, the, your walking star. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. It's different. You are, <laughs> yeah, like you limp, you got diabetes, you don't even know where to start. You're looking in the air, trying to breathe fresh air. You just got locked up for 45 years for something you didn't do. How comes they discover when you're 72 mm -hmm. that you didn't do it? That you didn't do it. Oh, no. And a lot of people walk with these things dangling on top of their head mm -hmm. a curse. You go, you stand in front of an interview, overqualified, you are intelligent. For no reason, this person just has to find a problem. Mm -hmm. When you lack promotion at your workplace, while everybody is being promoted, I mean, even the dumbest people in your company, they're getting a raise. Yeah. When I say dumb, you know there are people who are slow. Oh, yeah. You know slow, yeah. leave the word slow. Mm. Molasses, you know molasses, that thing that falls slowly. <laughs> no brain. I'm not like, ha, ah, no, me, my status, you're angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <your> way, <laughs> and now some of you are complaining, saying, nah, it's not fair. It's us. <laughs> I'm laughing because the Bible says laughter is medicine to the heart. Oh, so don't look up and say, why is he laughing? It's medicine to the heart. Amen. So if you don't laugh about it, your heart is afflicted. <laughs> so I'm just trying to help. Praise God. We remove affliction. You're here, you sit down. You're wondering, like, how comes the same pattern, the same thing you keep going in a circle? It's like you're, so there's a spirit of almost there, but not there. I'm about to strike the deal. I'm about to strike the deal. Yeah. The last minute. Everything is blown out. And now you're angry. So disappointment, when it comes too much, is not just disappointment. It's the presence of a curse. Every time you're disappointed, it's the presence of a curse. Something was established. Before you were born, not all of us come from backgrounds that worshiped God and Jesus. Some of our fathers did crazy stuff, stole money from people, mm -hmm. hurt somebody in the village, mm -hmm. in the countryside. And now you're finding yourself, you are, you are living to survive. You're not living because you're enjoying. You're working to survive. Like if you don't work, you're finished. Yet there's someone who wake up in the morning, <laughs> somewhere in Beverly Hills, <laughs> Run on a treadmill yeah. mm -hmm. for two hours. Praise God. Mm -hmm. They're running on a treadmill mm -hmm. and they take peanut colada. They serve it. They, 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 they're not even rushing. You, you are being rushed with time. Mm -hmm. Your boss is on your face. Then they're sweeping. <laughs> I'm like, that's good. 
they're relaxing. You're wondering, like, <laughs> is it fair that there are people who don't have to strain like you? They are sleeping. So what God are we serving? Is it fair? What, what is? Because this child has an inheritance from their dad. But before it came to their dad, their father's fathers, there's a tradition of inheritance. Mm -hmm. If in your bloodline there's no tradition of inheritance, you're under a curse. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. There's a curse there that needs to be broken Amen. by you. Amen. Don't like this. Uh, no inheritance. <laughs> You know, I'm hearing someone in the spirit. Oh, God. Have your way. Lord. I'm happy. Something good is going to happen. Amen. 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 Israel, are we together? Amen. So, some of you are living without inheritance. Your father is old, he'll die. No inheritance. You are here. You have no, you have nothing, you have no vision of where, yet you, you yet you have ideas of business of what to do. But 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 what does the Bible say? It says a good father leaves inheritance for what? For his children. His children's children. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Amen. Am I making sense tonight? Yeah. Say inheritance. inheritance. There's a difference of wealth and riches. You can have wealth, you can have riches, and then there is what we call you have inheritance. Mm -hmm. Inheritance is something, man, Come on. like there's some Jewish families in Wall Street, in uh, New York. It's a family I know there, I forgot the second name. Here in California, man, the kids wake up. It's like, those are the ones we keep following online. Oh, he's blogging, flying on a parachute. Oh, he has time to fly on a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And then you watch that for one hour. Wow, look at how he's running after a dog. <laughs> wow, he's fighting an alligator. <laughs> they have time to fight an alligator. <laughs> and they enjoy the show. <laughs> you see uh, things like Survivor, you know, these oh. crazy programs where everybody's trying to risk their life to die. Eh? Mm -hmm. As if they have nothing to do. <laughs> Survive, but you know someone stretching like this, doing this and they're doing online. As if there's no tomorrow, right? But when you wake up, you have no time. Some of you, listen, some of you are supposed to know how to dance, but you don't know how to dance because of problems. <laughs> for you. Have your way some of you are supposed to know how to dance, but because you have suffered a lot, when music comes on, you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> Not because you didn't have the chance to dance. Life was so hard. <laughs> yeah. Have your way. one time we, played, we went in a party. I saw a guy. We played music. Everybody's happy. He's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I looked at the G. I said, He's definitely LA. I wonder. <laughs> Is this one? <laughs> you know, something I'm trying to figure out. Is it meant? What is it? If you did this, then you came back somewhere and removed this class and did it again. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing you could do. You have suffered a lot. Mm -hmm. And I knew mm -hmm. more. <laughs> Praise God. You know, that's how I get revelation. I said, This one, you have suffered a lot. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of us, we have embraced suffering as part of your identity. Mm -hmm. You suffer, you enjoy, you, you hug it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you have now self pity. You, you, you hold yourself like this in a corner and you scratch your head for hours. You do. <laughs> Yeah. A demon. Yeah. Stay Jesus. Demon. Tonight. Tonight. Generational curses. Generational curses. I'm going to break. I'm going to break. Your father, your mother, wherever you come from. Tonight, if they didn't leave anything for you, you're going to be the one to leave. Yeah. Amen. You're the one who's going to begin a bloodline, a new covenant of generational blessings. Praise God. So, these things I'm saying is I love preaching about spirituality and also reality of what where we are. 
Because if you can't bring reality and the spiritual together, then if you hear someone saying, oh, in spirit, I saw this angel, angel, and that's the only thing they can talk about. <laughs> but they can't bring the reality of what we are living in Come today. Yeah. Then the word is not balanced. Amen. It's, yeah. it's not balanced diet. And that's why people perish because of lack of what? No. Knowledge. So you find yourself saying, you, you get a career. Now the career is the best thing you, you ever got. Oh my God, I have a career. Thank you. <sighs> You're happy. But that's someone's business. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk to us. Come on, come on. It's a sinner business. Yeah. You call that your career. Come on. It is someone's business. Amen. Yeah. Come on, come on. God says, hey, I have called you to work, not to have a job. Come on. Amen. He says it's good for man to work. No, he said he didn't say to have a job. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Uh, am I making sense? Yeah. So your career is someone's uh, business. Right. Mm -hmm. And you call it a career. So you're waiting for retirement money. Mm -hmm. The only money some folks leave for their children is when they die by, by, by mistake. Like, not by mistake, but surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's with a truck and mm -hmm. the, the retirement money now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. Some, 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 some kids strangle their, their old Gs, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> with a tie. Oh, yeah. Because they got too much retirement money. Man, poison. Poison, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Social security. Mm -hmm. And we're living in a reality like this. Some of you here watching me online, you have a brother like that who's waiting for your mother to die. Wow. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. I break free. I break free from generational curses. Tonight. Tonight. Today. 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 Set me free. Set me free. I break free. Break free from generational curses. I enter in generational blessing. I enter in generational blessing. I am blessed. I am blessed in. In. Going in, going in, coming out. Coming out. I am the countenance, I am the countenance of breakthrough. Of breakthrough. 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 Anybody that sees me, anybody that sees me, will be blessed in Jesus' in Jesus' mighty name. I am the definition of wealth, of wealth grace, grace, and inheritance, and inheritance. in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When God is with you, no man can be against you. Amen. Amen. See you Lord. Come on. So the question I want to ask you again, a wise old man once told me, a good teacher, I repeat again, repeats himself. Amen. A teacher who's confused will confuse you more. True. But a good teacher repeats himself. So mm, Paul says, examine yourself. Where are you? Where are you now? Where do you fit here? Yeah, you've gone to school. I, I Look, <laughs> I wrote, oh, it has disappeared. I wrote until this finger. I don't know who has ever written until your fingers uh, swell. Mm -hmm. well, who has written notes? Yeah. I had a serious, then this finger was crooked. <laughs> it turned. Hey, <laughs> this history teacher. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I learned history by default. I mean, yeah, you <laughs> cheated. Being forced. Yeah, I'm also cheated. You're not a prophetic. <laughs> but, but anyway. <laughs> it's a confession. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. I didn't speak for my license, uh, DMV. Mm -hmm. I never read, right? No. Mm. no. You told me read that said no. Rather than <laughs> just <say> now. <laughs> I remember. I didn't want to read it. <laughs> yeah, God was saying, press that one yeah. green. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so if you cry with me and you see me do a present <laughs> time, it's my pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One time I, that I was sitting beside me, I did a crazy. Hey, bro, what's going on? Hey. I said, relax, I'm driving by faith. <laughs> but uh, nothing has happened to me. I've never had an accident or less. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Some of us have just a different grace. Amen. Man, I never went to school of driving. I just entered and I got my license. Oh, man. I need to get somewhere. Amen. 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 Somebody say, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, 
Let every generational curse be broken tonight. Yes. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every generational curse be broken. Every generational curse. In the mighty name of Jesus. From your mother's house. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Generation of curse that hinder you. Generation of curse. Slow you down. That's hinder me. Break tonight. Break tonight. Tonight. Jesus mighty. Tonight. 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 A generational curse, one of the spirits' name is confusion. Mm -hmm. When a person is confused a lot, they make decisions and they postpone. They make decisions and they postpone. Mm -hmm. It's a sign of lack of progress and stagnancy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of you have had this tendency where you say, I just don't feel like no more. Mm -hmm. Now nah, it's not a feeling. Is your mind mm. something triggered your soul to lack that consistency? Mm. Everything's need everything in this life needs consistency, mm. even to, to, to work, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If you plant a seed and you unplant it, it cannot grow. Come on, mm. that's how some of you have lived your life. You plant something, you want uproot it, you plant, you uproot it, and you wonder, like, God, why am I not seeing the fruits? Yeah. Because every time you plan, you postpone, you plan is a problem. It means your soul is not at peace. Let yeah. your soul be restored yeah. tonight. Amen. Amen. Your soul needs peace. Amen. Your soul needs peace tonight. Yeah. I receive it. Jesus. Tonight. The reason why. Thank you, Lord. The reason why every time you're having delay is because you don't know how to stick to your plan. Yes, you always postpone. God wants to bless you, but there's something influencing your character to postpone. Mm -hmm. You start something, you stop. That's a sign of stagnancy. Please, if this is you, let the Lord Jesus deliver you. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I receive it, Jesus. Thank you. Another sign of a curse is when you have 10 visions. What did I say? 10, Ten visions. visions. Some of you have had this happen to you. You want to do this? 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 The next thing, ah! you don't know what to do no more. This is not a joke. It's a reality. And then the next thing, see someone end up in the bar drinking, not because they want to drink, not because they want to smoke, but because they say it kills their anxiety. Mm -hmm. Because they want to do 10, 20 things and they want it to happen real quick. It's like no patience. It's a sign of a curse. You're always yes. rushed. Oh, come on. Okay. Lord. I want to talk to somebody tonight. Amen. Amen. It's like instead of doing something and finishing the past project, you want to jump to the next. It's a sign of a curse. You can't finish what you begin. And some of you have had a father and a mother. They begin something. They quit midway. Mm -hmm. I don't want no more. So the same character has been inherited by you. Yeah, you're a quitter. Absolutely. Look at anybody in the Olympics. Who's involved? Uh, the greatest boxers. They're successful like that because there's one characteristic they have. Not quitting. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Muhammad Ali says, I'm the greatest. Oh, mm -hmm. Spider. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. We will bind that. Uh, every demonic destruction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. mm. Tonight, they start something they don't finish. It's a spirit. Hussein Bolt becomes the best. Not because he's in Jamaica and he's Jamaican. No. But because he kept on going on and on, he used to lose his races, but he didn't stop. Mm -hmm. Have you stopped something yes. that you began? <laughs> How many times have you stopped it? Mm -hmm. How many times? Stop. And sometimes you say, I don't feel like. No, it's not a feeling. It's a thought that came in your mind that removed the vision mm -hmm. and made it blurry. Mm -hmm. So now another vision is coming, a strange vision. Most of the visions you can have 
that keep clouding you that look good. Most of the time it's not good. It's an illusion. Mm -hmm. And evil spirit, familiar spirits do that mm -hmm. when they want to bind somebody to never become anything. They begin to project things that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Suddenly you see yourself as a CEO. You see yourself owning, I don't know what. You say, I want to also open restaurants. I also want to, uh, yeah, I want to do catering. After catering, I said, no, 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 no. I think I should do a car wash. Uh, a car wash. Uh, you are everywhere. Go, go look in a mental institution. Have you ever sat with someone who's mad? They say, oh, I'll be the president of, of the president. Yes, one day I'll be the president. <laughs> Literally him. Oh, you say yeah. that today. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not mad. You're not mad. I'm just giving an example. Yeah, oh you have people like that say, oh, one day, one day, they, or, or sit with someone, who, you're not mad, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just saying, yeah? So you sit with someone, it's like, they're constantly, if you look at crazy people, that's the things they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to go and build a castle. We're going to build a castle. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, 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 yes. That's why Yeti begins like with an almost imaginary. And, and if you're here, I want to say something really serious. If you're here, you suffer with imaginary friends. Yeah. Huh? Saying Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. To hey, Tommy, 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 who's Tommy? Mm -hmm. And you're a kid. Mm -hmm. So yeah, her name is Alista. These dolls we have. You invite him to the house, it's just like this. <laughs> and you think you're talking to someone. So do you want me to get, get a cupcake? Mm -hmm. You want a cupcake? Wait, but dolls are different than imaginary friends. Watch this. Oh, oh. But this is something that you can feel it. And it goes all the way till when someone grows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They go in the mirror. Oh. I said, you okay? You're fine? You're good? Yes. Yes. You imagine that, right? Mm -hmm. well, most of what we call the imaginary friends that kids have had all the way till they grew to say, anyway, my imaginary friend is angry now. Tommy's angry. <laughs> Some of you have had that crazy stuff going on That's when you're a kid. And then suddenly when you grow, you say, Tommy never wanted to talk to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be honest with you. Tommy never left. Tommy is right there. Just relax. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy now is mature with you. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> yeah. Now, Tommy's not telling you, get, get cupcake now. Tommy's saying, let's go to the bar. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Tommy's saying, let's go to the bar. And, you know, you want to eat tacos. Crazy stuff. Uh, How comes at one o'clock, you, you hear a voice, taco, 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 barito, taco. Did you want to drive crazy, crazy, drive food? What, what is the, whatever. And you just get up and you go drive. Do something which leading you to go. If you arrive, you're not hungry. Tommy, oh, Tommy, oh. what's that? You go to the restaurant, you arrive, you're not angry anymore. It's a spirit. Oh, Something tricks your stomach. You wake up out of the bed real quick. Say, hey, I'm hungry. You arrive like this. Yeah. Their food doesn't smell well. They don't start the time. Oh, it's a demon. Praise God. Yeah. No, no, we have gone through this. Yeah. You are planning to go eat very well. Something is telling you go. It even gives you the name. I'm not saying eating is bad, mm -hmm. but this thing we call imaginary friends that kids mm -hmm. have messed with uh, growing up mm -hmm. has ended up being the spirits that lead them and guide them through life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are familiar spirits. They introduce themselves to kids at an mm -hmm. early age. Who has had, had an imaginary friend here? Please, let's keep it real. Talk Praise God. No, 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 no. Lift up your hands. Let's, come on. <laughs> Mariah. <laughs> yes. yes, Praise God. <laughs> Hey, you guys are, you don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have a imaginary friend. Okay, let me not say imaginary friend. Let me just say someone invisible. Online, praise God. I want to hear someone's mouth open. Praise God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did. Who's that? Eddie. It's me, Eddie. Oh, yeah, Eddie. You need to name. I named him Billy. Oh, yeah. tonight something will happen. Hey, hey. <laughs> With you, I saw, I saw, I saw. Praise God. That one I saw, I'm sure. Yes. You've had it. Yeah, we care about stories about it. Thank you. It was in the fireplace. Uh, the fire chimney, whatever. Yes. Oh, my. Chimney. Yes, I would yes. play with it. 
Okay. Let God do something tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Some have imaginary friends, some have unconscious, an unconscious voice that sounds like you, mm -hmm. that constantly is like, okay, all right. You are here, you have escaped. You said, I've never had an imaginary friend, I'm clean. Okay, if you're here, <laughs> you've had a voice that sounds exactly like you. How you, how you and know? you end up talking to yourself. And as you're talking, you're like, really? Really? Who has heard like your voice yeah. talking to you? Yeah. 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 Oh. She said it's just thinking. Me. I know. I know. But, but I guess he's right. He's right. Yeah. You are having a blown conversation with something that sounds like you. Oh. Now, how do you know it sounds like you? This is how it is. How do you know it's not your mind talking to you? Mm -hmm. It's not you talking to yourself. Is when you, let me give an example. You sit here, you say, man, I think I should go, you should go just through a drive through or I should go just meet that auntie of mine. She's come from out of town. And then you hear a voice interjecting, no, I don't think it's a nice idea. It sounds like you. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> or you or, or you 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 end up you might even end up opening your mouth and say, no, it's not a nice idea. You think it's you talking. It's something that just interjected because you can't talk to yourself. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Because no. uh, I want to do deliverance. Please save the question. Save the questions. Save the questions. How do you know? How do you know? Because it gets you comfortable in making major decisions. So it's like mm -hmm. you're answering yourself. You're answering yourself. You think okay. it's you, but it's not you. But mm -hmm. I mean, so, okay. so, okay, this is the thing. Thinking is when a thought, now what's this? You are born again. You have a thought. That thought, if it has more than, I don't know how many times you conflict yourself over and over in your mm -hmm. thoughts. That's somebody who's involved in that conversation. Mm -hmm. It's not you. You're not alone. You are having not just conflict, you are having a conversation mm. with something that mimics your voice. Mm. Familiar spirits can mimic. Who has sat in a room before in your bedroom, you hear someone like the voice of your mom calling you. And when mm. you say, huh? Mm. They're not there. Mm -hmm. Who has heard it? Like someone, uh -huh. like your sister? My sister mm -hmm. that. Huh? I, yeah. And you're like, you will have, you will have sworn like maybe it's, yeah. you know, like your sister or your sister's dad. Okay, your whole life she says, have you called me? I have my whole life, yeah. That is a familiar spirit. So that same thing that is calling her, it is something that is in her mind. It goes there, it sits there. And constantly as she makes decisions, she says, well, I think I should go do this, this, sit with this guy. I don't think it's a nice idea. Mm -hmm. And you can think it's actually you, but it takes over your voice. And that's why when most people prospond it's not because they decided to prospond something they're supposed to do and they know they're supposed to do. It's because the voice prosponded with their voice. Mm -hmm. What they're supposed to do with mm -hmm. You wake up, you say, oh, I'm ready to work out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is the right time. You're not talking yeah, to yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know working out will help you. Yeah. That's not you talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you wake up the next day, you want to work out. And then you hear, you say, oh, today I feel good like working out. After drinking one sip of coffee, you said, nah, maybe I should do it next time again. That's not you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's something conflicting with you. Yeah. Amen. And most people cannot mm -hmm. establish a business, mm -hmm. relationship with people, because constantly they are hearing something interjecting them that sounds like them. Mm -hmm. And they start saying, I had a gut feeling. Mm -hmm. Something was telling me. Who has ever said something was telling me? Mm -hmm. And you don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what is that thing? And that's the thing that's causing people to stay in a bondage of a curse. Mm -hmm. It's like I heard something telling me. I don't know what it was, but something told me not to go there. Mm -hmm. Or something told me that this one is going to hate me. Something told me that they're going to fight with me. And true to the word, mm -hmm. you end up fighting so bad. Mm -hmm. Because if that thing told you they'll fight with you, it will have if it was God, it would have been a warning. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a conflict. Mm -hmm. And then you will have avoided. But this thing that is telling you, it's even pushing you to go. Oh, wow. So you're going to fight. Oh. <laughs> no, you're going to fight. Wow. 
I'm, I'm not making sense. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes we think it is thoughts talking to us. It's like, ah, it's just my mind. It's just, I think I talk to my mind a lot. And that's how crazy people end up in a mental institution. They're looking at a wall and, and they're talking. You think they're looking at the wall, but there's something they can see now. That thing that was tormenting them all their life, finally it has revealed itself. Wow. And now they're completely lost reality of the physical realm. Wow. So as they're talking like this, that you could see a mental person walking in the street saying, huh, what, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What they're seeing is one person here, second person here, third person here. They're talking with a group of people that you can't see. Wow. That all their life before they became mental, these were the voices that were there. Mm. Wow. Have you ever asked yourself a question? How come someone who's mad is never hit with a car? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen someone mad hit with a car? Mm -hmm. Yet they're walking, looking in the air, but a car will never hit them. <laughs> they cross the freeway running. Man, try that move. Mm. You try, <laughs> you, you, you're normal, right? Stand with your two legs and uh, hey, freeway. <laughs> like a mad person. You will know that mad person has buddies who are telling him turn left, turn right. That's why they don't get hit. There's something that sustains them not to die. You try to remove your shirt one night outside. <laughs> pneumonia. You know that's pneumonia, bronchitis, pneumonia, all kind of flu. You could ever collect in this world, you'll collect. Swine flu. Mm -hmm. Try. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. How comes they can walk for 10 years? Same mad woman walking without a shirt or a guy half naked but never dies from pneumonia because spiritually something is feeding them mm -hmm. and sustaining them. They are walking with a group of five people. You think they're alone. That's why they're laughing. They're like, <laughs> oh my God, oh, come on, really? They're like, oh, that's just a crazy person. There is nothing like crazy. It is someone losing their soul mm -hmm. and being introduced to the spirit world. Mm -hmm. But it began somewhere. Yes. Yeah, so Some of you have people in your family who when they sit alone, they talk to themselves. Mm -hmm. That right there. When you start having that habit, you're here watching me. Mm -hmm. You sit alone and you start doing and you do they ask you, what are you saying? Oh, nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. That right there, mm -hmm. that right there is something talking to you. Mm -hmm. That friend who does that, you have a friend that does that. Yeah. If after years go by, and if you look at them properly, their company is not a lot of people. They segregate themselves. They, yeah, that's true. Huh? Yeah. They're always in a corner. Uh -huh. All the seaters, oh, I'm good, I'm yeah. good, I'm good. You see, and, 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 and what it does, signs over cast a familiar spirit. It, it, they, they like, this spirit is like dealing with someone's mind. And, 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 and sometimes you can go in a public, right? There's a lot of people. And you feel like you don't want to be around a lot of people. When every time you get around a lot of people, and you feel you just want to run away and leave. Something doesn't want you mm. to be around people. Mm. Talk to it's me. something oppressing your mind. Mm. Mm. Way. Come on. You might even be here right now. Tonight we are having this wonderful time. Something will be telling you, just go, go right now. You, even your mind, your mind can be hijacked and taken somewhere. You're thinking like, okay, after this service, you're already thinking of how you're going to go, the routes you're going to use. It's like so something, something might even tell you like, okay, what time is it now? It's something, something is trying to pull your attention. Why? Because it's, 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 it's a spirit. There's the Holy Spirit and there is spirit guides. Mad people are led by spirit guides that began in their life way early, nobody could suspect it. Mm. And you know what we're going to do? Amen. Tonight we're going to pray for deliverance. Yeah. Because if it keeps going on and on, you will have fortified relationships. You are an intelligent woman, an intelligent man, but people see you weird. You don't see yourself. Because every time you're like this, you want to like, what's going on? You are always, something is always telling you, be suspicious of people for no reason. Some of your brothers like this, or it's you. 
When you get to meet people, you're always suspicious, mm. feeling like they will harm you, feeling they will hurt you. It's a mental, it's a spirit that wants to protect you from divine connections mm. that you need in your life. Yeah, it's just like you can't sit around a gathering. You sit, you feel something, you know, restless doing this to you because it knows the more you sit in the gathering, the Bible says what? Do not forsake the gathering of what? Brethren. Tonight, there are people who come online, something will tell them to leave real quick. Mm. Or they will start feeling fire in their legs. Something is just pushing them, go, get away, move. Like they, they can't sit still. Suddenly they think of calling people that they haven't called for a long time while we're live right now here. Mm -hmm. I think for no reason, just to see, hey, how are you? How did you sleep? Mm -hmm. And you lose connection tonight. And then you're like, what the? What did me call? Who has ever made a choice and you ask yourself, what made me make that choice? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 And like, damn, you didn't feel like stupid. Mm -hmm. Yet you're not stupid. Why? An evil spirit wants to introduce a spirit of insecurity. Mm -hmm. And that's how a demon of insecurity gets in someone's life. Mm -hmm. to me. They make a decision and like, what the heck? Oh my God, I'm dumb. I'm so stupid for saying that. I'm so dumb for thinking. Oh, I made me say that. Now, when shame comes, suddenly you're not secure. You're not bold anymore. Because something is pushing you. Let anything Amen. that pushes you Amen. not push you. Amen. Because some of you here tonight, and some of us, we are supposed to have already been far. Yeah. Let God bring progress in your life. Let every enemy, what's this? Let every enemy of Amen. progress Amen. lose influence Amen. in your life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen. share the live broadcast Amen. right now to all prophetic people come into your spirit. Amen. You know, that's the result of curses. A curse can only work if an evil spirit has control over your mind. That's all. It just needs to take control over your mind. If you get money, it's like there's a hole in your pocket. It goes away. You get it to barely survive with it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't benefit you. There are folks who are working, but as they work, it pays the bills. It's mm -hmm. just for the bills. A curse will never enjoy your labor. You Listen, when you got a curse over you, you can't enjoy your money. It's bills... A signs of a curse, you can't even take yourself out. You feel guilty for going out to have fun. You know, in the ministry, we are planning to do something that is going to break free the mentality of uh, like lack of joy. In his name. We're going to do paintball. Come on. We're going to go shooting and do paintball as a church. We're going to separate ourselves in red and blue teams. Praise God. Come on. As a prophetic action for people to free themselves. Amen. Amen. Serious and religious kills you. A curse. Tonight I declare and decree. Amen. You are not cursed. Amen. You want to know where a curse is? Look at the characteristics of a person. Mm. Signs of a curse is when you are friends, but they are there for literally one year and they go. Mm -hmm. Signs of a curse. When you can't keep a friend, they always come and they leave. Something doesn't want you to be connected. Do you know breakthrough doesn't come through, through your qualifications, your all these things? It comes through who you know. Amen. It's who you know mm -hmm. that will determine Amen. how far you go. Mm. So the question is, who do you know? Jesus. Come on. We know the Lord Jesus. Amen. Come on. But the Bible says he had what? Favor with God Amen. and men. Amen. So some of you don't have favor with men. Mm. Why? Yeah. Something makes you just gets in your mind. You say, I need my space so bad. It's not your space. The things that need you need to feed on you. That's why you're secluding yourself. Come on, talk to the Lord. Some of you have some auntie, a special auntie who goes somewhere in a corner. Every party. Mm -hmm. Everybody's eating with a special uncle, always in a corner. Mm -hmm. you wonder what's going on with you? But before, they used to be very happy, excited. 
being around people, but all of a sudden, they go in a corner and sit like this. Mm. They don't even want to interact. They're like, it's a spirit. Yeah. It has caused insecurity. When you're insecure, you can't be secure in God. Come on. When you're secure in God, no man can make you insecure. Amen. No woman can make you insecure. Amen. Am I making sense? Yeah. Amen. Jesus had favor with what? God. God. Amen. We only think, oh, it's just the son of God. No, 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 no. For the 12 disciples to follow him, 12 men for three years. Mm. He needed faithful men to follow him. For you to fulfill your ministry, there are people you need to walk with you. Amen. Anytime you see there's a pattern of burning bridges, after one year, you burn bridges as if it's the end of the world. It's a curse. Amen. Come on. Look at your dad. Look at your mom. Exactly. How they burn bridges. If your dad had the characteristics of burning bridges, if not taken care of carefully, you'll see the same pattern repeating itself mm -hmm. in your life. If your mom burned bridges or somebody or is in your family, you will always find a problem. Something will never make you see something good in somebody. You will always see something bad. It's a sign of a curse. Mm. Amen. This person will have a good side of them, but a curse, when it, it tries to stop you, you will focus on the negative. Mm. Someone can joke with you, laugh with you. Suddenly they say, dang, why are you acting stupid today? Mm. They just say, dang, and they're joking. She called me stupid. That stupid becomes a big mountain mm -hmm. that after six months, Mm -hmm. you still remember you're called stupid. Mm -hmm. And the next thing, you don't want to see them. And yet your keys are connected to who you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. When Jesus says, I'll open doors for you, who is a door? Mm -hmm. We might think a door is someone who's going to come like a, you know, fairy, fairy, what fairies come? The tooth fairy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've been given crazy stories. Mm -hmm. God is not sending Father Christmas. <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa. Huh? No. When God says, I will open doors, men are doors. Yeah. Amen. I prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. Listen, you have to learn how to walk with your enemies. Come on. Come on. Jesus gave us an example on how he walked with Judas. Amen. Yep. If you don't know how to work with your enemies, you are emotionally unstable. Mm -hmm. You're just looking for good people. There's no one good Amen. that God will, will open a door through. Right. He says, I prepare a table mm -hmm. in the presence of what? Mm -hmm. The enemies. He didn't say friends and buddies. Right. Friends are there to encourage you during the journey. Mm -hmm. But friends are there to open the biggest doors. Mm -hmm. In this season, God won't open doors. He will open gates. Amen. Shall we see? With a door, there's limitation, but with a gate, open the black gates of heaven. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Amen. In heaven, there is no doors, there is gates. Amen. 12 gates. Amen. So tonight, who is your door? Who is your door, Josh? Cindy, who is your door? Where is your door? Some of us, we have nice connections, great connections, great connections, but pride of life. Who is the door? You say, I don't want to look like this. It's something in California. Listen, I came here. I was the champion of suffering with this. Huh? Oh, I don't want people to, right? Yeah. I had to be delivered, right? Yes, you did. Not after years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I have integrity. It is true. Right. There's nothing wrong with integrity. Mm -hmm. He says, knock, and the door shall be open. 
We think he's knocking by prayer. What are you knocking in the air? <laughs> yeah, listen, you will pray until you don't even feel I almost said exhaust by. Uh, <laughs> I meant uh, um, I almost said your bronchitis. Not, not bronchitis. What is this? Windpipe. Windpipe. Some interesting. Some people will pray a lot and scream in the middle of the night when they talk. It's, <laughs> even the voice is comforting. <laughs> Because you scream, don't even talk to God. And after you're done, okay, I pray no more. Because nothing is happening. <laughs> Jesus is saying, knock. The door will be there. Amen. 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 Come on, talk to the door. Knock, and the door shall be open. Okay. When he says knock, every human being you meet is either an evil door or a door of light. Amen. If it's an evil door, Know how to open it and when to shut it. <laughs> yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But if it's yes. a good door, just walk through it. Right. Yes. If it's an evil door, know when to open it and when to shut it. The ministry of Jesus needed the next level with Judas. The ministry of David needed the next level with Saul. So who is the soul in your life today? Who is the Judas? Saul represents people who want to kill you. Judas is people who always constantly betray you. But have you learned from the betrayal? Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God open doors tonight. Amen. Let God open doors tonight. Amen. Are you ready tonight? Yeah. Are you ready for the next level? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, intelligence is very important. Right. The most important intelligence, uh, the type of intelligence that's very important is spiritual intelligence. Amen. It's different from physical intelligence. Physical intelligence has limitations. There's a difference of educated people and learned people. Mm. Learned people educate people. Praise God. Amen. 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 May you not just be educated, be learned. Amen. Amen. Someone who's learned, they will educate you. Amen. It's higher. Amen. Father, deliver. Amen. I'm about to pray for someone tonight. Yes, sure. yes. Amen. I'm about to pray. I'm about to pray. Mm. I'm about to pray for someone tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let every curse break. Amen. I see Sierra. Amen. I see Rosita. I see Emma. All right. Oh, you have a special name. God bless you. I could not spell it well, but you're blessed. Taryn. Huh. I see Kerisha. Barracuda. Praise God. Hmm. I see a couple of people online watching me on social media, live. Let God deliver you. This is Friday. Amen. Tonight, we are going to do an aggressive prayer. Yes. No, it's, it's time for you to stop being tormented. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Some of you can't sleep because your, your soul is being dragged. It's being dragged every time your soul is not at peace. Share this live broadcast. Amen. I prophesy you're free. Yes. Amen. I prophesy you're free. Amen. I want to hear people online. Could you, could you, how many people, I want to hear somebody talk to me. Huh. Open your microphone. I prophesy freedom. Yes. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. I receive the prophet. Amen. Amen. Have your way, Lord. Are you ready? Mm. I want to pray for someone tonight. Open your microphone and get ready for the next level. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Walk around and pray. Can you move this uh, table a little bit behind? Praise God. The light. The light. Praise God. I want us to pray. Ah, I want you to be touching that. My spirit is just there. Uh... Oh, yeah. 
Let's pray. Let's pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, there you go, Prophet. <laughs> Can you see me? Yes. Give me a minute. I want us to pray prophetically. Mm. Yes, hallelujah. Are we ready today? Hallelujah. Joshua, the first one to break that curse in your family. Amen. 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 What your your father did not do, you will do. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time. We thank you for the miracle tonight. We thank you for what you're doing tonight. Thank you for what you're doing tonight. Amen. I'm Lord, have your way, Lord. When I'm done with this live broadcast, please go and release them to each. Go and release them to the live broadcast. Because things are talking about are very profound. God wants to deliver you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let demon, who is this? Let, let, let demon, God bless you. Uh, Frida, God bless you. Uh, Langton. Happiness, God bless you, very cula. Talagadish, how is the Allah? We don't, God bless you. You got a money, Catherine. Let's see the Lord tonight. King, more blessings upon you, more blessings, more favor. The mighty name of Jesus. Yes, the night of favor, the night of the night of grace, provision, Yes, Jesus, have your way, Lord. Yes, God bless you, Karin. Karin, God bless you. Yes, Jesus. Mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Jesus. Yes. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus Break this chain. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Uh, yes, the Lord is saying it's beyond even that. The Lord is saying this question. Something Just a lot of stuff. I'm seeing like a casita in my vision, you know. Something with a family house that uh, is in the house. family it's connected to like um, a strong, a very strong family. You need to pray. Uh, she's undecisive. Let God do something. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus name, Jesus name. She never wants to talk about God because she's into energy and crystals. So back oh. off. That's, that's why it did not happen. Because I'm like, ah, I'm sick of spirit, Daniel. Don't have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Father, as we are in Los Angeles, we know something good is happening. This is not a barrier. Let these curses break tonight. Good night, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Brina, who's Brina? Um, Brina Diaw. Brina, Brina, is it Joseph's wife? Who is this? Brianna? Yes, I'm. I'm here, Prophet. Bless you. How are you? I'm well, Prophet. Thank you. I'm blessed. I'm very, very blessed in the blood of Jesus. Okay. Uh, I'm carried in the realms of the spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, God. You are you and your husband don't sit in different rooms. <laughs> Joshua, come in the house. <laughs> He's in the car. Yeah. Um, I don't see I don't see him around. Something. I see you in one room and in another room. It's right now. Amen. He's he's coming. We we're supposed to go get some food. Too much. We we're supposed to get. Oh, my God! Oh, my Oh, 
you guys are going to move to Los Angeles. Have your way, Lord. Yes, we receive it. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, prophet. Yes, prophet. We're going to to leave the job you're doing in the store, and very soon there's a job you'll find in the medical nursing in uh, LA. Oh, I receive it. Thank you, Lord. The nursing job you need. Yes, Lord, you see that. Hey, before you found the store job, uh, you're working, there's a nursing, nursing. God is oh. saying, surpass, surpass all those rules and everything. Mm -hmm. and you're Nobody's in Los Angeles. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I was going to get into the medical field when I was younger, but I didn't have the opportunity. You're going to get into the medical field when you're younger, you didn't get the opportunity, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Listen, the new Tina shoes you're going to get, because there's some Tina shoes you need to get new ones, because the ones you have, they hurt your feet. Okay? Okay. So you're going to get new tennis shoes. I receive it. And after you get those tennis shoes, it represents a new walk. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. You keep wanting to get them, but you keep postponing because of the child. You know? Yes. Yes, prophet. Is that correct what I'm saying? Yes, prophet. Yeah, you are to go to the store and, and get them like Nike Air, Nike Air. Nike Air is good for you. Nike Air. Yes. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I receive it. White and black Nike Air. So Nike Air. Go grab them. Mm. Go grab I receive them. it, Prophet. I will. That piece, uh, uh, eat, but from today as you eat, let this cast leave your body. You will not vomit. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen, Prophet. Because when you eat, there's a gagging feeling of almost wanting to vomit. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it, when it started, but you eat to feel like you want to throw up, you know? Yes. What is that? What is that? I'm, I'm sorry, Prophet. Whenever you eat, you feel like throwing up. When you eat, like a gagging feeling. Yes, it's it's like nausea. Um, I don't. I'll just be feeling sick when I when I eat. Yeah, you, almost like um throwing up. Nausea is that. Mm -hmm. How long has that been there? Um, like a few months. From nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So now you're not able to eat and enjoy food. When you smell food, you feel like, mm, you know, you're out of it. Yes, it was a point mm. that I, I couldn't eat at all. I would just look at food and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't digest it. I couldn't eat it. I just I started back getting used to eating again. Be delivered now. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. 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 Now. I receive it. I receive it. Yes. Yes. Now. Yes. The will of God is for you to be delivered. It's not the will of God to keep you current in your life. God has said, In the mighty name of Jesus, you are set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The problem and condition you are having is acid. You are having acid. Mm -hmm. God is giving me a vision of the problem. It's an acid reflex you are having. Mm -hmm. That you keep burping and you feel acid coming up. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. Too much intense acidity in your body. Be delivered now. Mm -hmm. As you're being delivered, there's another person who's being delivered from the stomach. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Online. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. I saw you in a vision. I saw you in a vision one, two, three, like five days ago. Five days ago, I saw you in a vision. 
you need a new phone. Mm. Five days ago, I'm seeing you, something with a phone. You need a new phone. Okay. You need a new phone and uh, something to do with the network you are on. You're going to change. I, I was thinking about getting a new phone. Yes, that's the true profit. Look, what kind of make? You want to see what brand, what can you really, something sustainable. Yes. And also you're thinking of the network, if you should change the network, you know? If you should go to another network and everything. Uh, God is telling me, I should tell you, go to cricket. Yes, Prophet. Change to cricket. I'm hearing cricket. Okay. okay. He, he's talking to you. They need to wait. Cricket. Cricket, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, Prophet. Change it to that network. I speak peace and love. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now, listen. Listen. Uh, Joshua. Hear what the Lord is saying. Joshua. Hear what the Lord is saying. Yes, prophet. The Lord is saying this. He's saying, he's saying, he's saying, my son Joshua, don't remind your wife of what she confessed to you. Hmm. This is what the Lord is saying. For it will keep coming back in your mind. She confessed to you because she wants a new covenant. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. 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 Don't, 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 don't bring it up again. This is what the Lord yes. is saying. Amen. I receive it. Amen. To bring up what she confessed to you, you will lose grace in your life. Amen. Amen. The spirit permitting you to remind her what she confessed to you, that private whatever happened, mm. which I'm going to keep it concealed. So don't bring up the past. Mm -hmm. For the Lord is saying he has a bright future for both of you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how long did you keep this secret? Like, were, were you planning to, I mean, you are don't worry about the past. Amen. Focus on the future. Amen. And the Lord, listen, Joshua. And the Lord is saying, you're going to be able to have a child. Amen. Amen. Have your way. Have your way. The Lord is saying, you're going to be able to have a child. Amen, Lord. Thank you. Huh? I receive it. Because this is something that has been bothering you. God is speaking <laughs> your anatomy right now. Amen, amen. Amen. something you have discovered. And God is saying, He speaks to you. Praise God. As I'm talking to you now, at the sound of my voice, I speak through this screen. There's an angel that has been sent. And right now, you're about to start producing testosterone that is supposed to be produced. Amen. 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 God is saying, if you want a boy, he's going to give you a boy. Amen. And then Amen. the wife Amen. says, Amen. Oh, what about twins? <laughs> that would be profit. Huh? Amen. That would be a blessing. <laughs> Yeah, because you talk about that a lot, twins. <laughs> because Amen. Oh, you you got this. Amen. 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 We receive. Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay. Don't let that make you angry anymore, Joshua. Yes, mm. sir. Angry? And you're going to be a father, not because the doctor okay. says, 
But because God is saying. Amen. 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 We receive, we receive it. Prophet, we receive that. Am I making sense to you? Amen. Yes, sir. You know what I mean. Hallelujah. So keep it uh, private. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank, you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Joshua. Hallelujah. Amen. Connect the Amen. prophet, please. Amen. 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 Baby Joshua. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you today. Because when I pray, you hear me, God. We thank you for this miracle today. Because when I pray, you hear me, Lord. We thank you, today, Lord, for these signs and because when I pray, you hear me. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. I'm seeing a woman, you need a baby. Your womb needs to be open. Amen. I That's me, Prophet. You. I want Amen. to know your womb needs to be open. There is a woman, your womb needs to be open. Who are you? It's me. I'm Amen. right here. Who? Where? Who is it? I, I'm, my name is Sable. I'm right here. Uh, okay, hold on. Table. Yeah, I'm right here. You believe God can do it? Yes. I'm looking at you by the eyes of the spirit and I see the left fallopian tube. Amen. The left. Wow. When you were young, there was something with okay. the left, left fallopian. Okay. God delivers you. Now. Amen. Now. now. Amen. Are you married? Amen. Yes, I am. For five years. Yes. Huh? Now, uh, oh, I, I've been married for, now, I'm sorry. For five years, there's okay. been resistance in your womb. That's true. There's a reason why I'm saying five years. Okay. Um, this is an instruction I'll give you. Okay. There's a lot of cholesterol in your heart. Okay. You have high cholesterol. May God decrease it. Amen. Astrogen in you. Super right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen, okay. I'm looking at you in the eyes of the spirit. There's a knot behind your left leg, behind your knee. There's a knot. Yes. Behind your knee, there's a knot. Okay. Huh? I'm sorry, what were you saying? Behind your knee, there's a knot. Your leg, a knot. Yes, that's true. There, I can feel it right now. I can feel it. You see, I'm touching myself. Right. Now, I'm touching yes. behind mine. God is saying it's a vein, okay? Okay. That is very painful. Sometimes. Yes. This now issue is connected with your womb. Wow. Let God Restore you now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Now, if you touch your leg, do you feel the now? No, I don't feel it. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Praise Jesus. It's gone. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Lord. 
Yeah. Where did the nerve go? Uh, Jesus healed me. I think you did, he took it away just now. Just I've now. been feeling it all week and it's not there. Yeah. Um, as I place my hand on my stomach, Amen. may your baby manifest. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Your case is settled. Believe in Jesus. Done. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you, prophets. Amen. Thank you. Uh, people of God, I want to end this service. Monday, I'm doing a prophetic and deliverance. Okay? And this is just deliverance. God is telling me the grace is extended up to Monday. Hallelujah. Monday is deliverance. Do not miss the Monday service online. Don't miss it. This is not my work. Thank God it's not my work. It's the work of the Lord Jesus. Amen. If it was my work, I'll be in trouble. Amen. But the fact that it's the ministry of the Lord, hey, there's grace. Hallelujah. So tomorrow, there are people who think, ah, this thing of prophecy. I don't know the lady. I don't know the lady. God knows. Me, I don't know. But God knows. Her. God knows the exact place Amen. Yeah. The angel just went quickly like a flash of light yes. and then and it disappeared. Thank and you. Yes. Yes. Father, we want to thank you. We magnify you. Now, if you are here, you need healing in your body, receive it. Now, receive healing. If you are a woman, receive healing. Let your reproductive organs, if you are a man, receive healing. Let every brain in the groin Go oh, right now, now, this hour, now, this moment, I prophesy in Jesus' mighty name. The call you see the secret of the heart is locating and settling every case in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Thank you. Now, if you're here, if you're here, you want to be a blessing to the ministry, we're about to wind up. Tap into that anointing, or you want to connect with the blessing, you can see, and the Lord is going to bless you. Make a special seed, $50, $100, whatever seed God is putting in your spirit. Connect it, maybe it might be a sickness, maybe something going on, you're going through. But by faith, talk to God. Yeah, I'm so wrong, bro. yeah. A paperwork, visa, I don't know what it is. Really? Citizenship of a country. I don't know what it is, what country you are in, in Europe, in Canada. Take a special seed and a special offering. Take a love offering and let the Lord bless you tonight. Amen. On social media, there's the link right there. Go to the website. Talk to God right now. Listen to him. Listen to God. If God is convicting you, God is the one who owns everything. Amen. Your money is gonna, it's not going to bring the blessing. It's your obedience. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Let the Lord touch you right now. Because I don't, you know, I was doing services and the Lord told me, don't prevent my children from being blessed. I said, what? He said, you're releasing spiritually. They have to sow carnally, physically. So take a special offering and let the Lord bless you tonight. Amen. The link is right there. Amen. Go to our website. $100, $50, $200, whatever seed the Lord is bringing you to it. An offering of healing. Your mother, your father, generational curses, maybe a sacrificial, whatever it is, let the blood of Jesus set you free. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. We are trusting God to do major stuff, to move to the next level. The equipments we are trusting God for. If you want to be a part of this, you can sow. So that we may be on the line the best way possible. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Father, we want to thank you tonight. Thank you. Your children, for those who have been led, always guide them and lead them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus so tonight, name. God, we thank you for what you have done. Amen. If you are here, you want to be born again, repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Lord Jesus, Jesus I, come I come before you tonight as a sinner. As a sinner. I believe you died on the cross. You died on my sins. Jesus Christ, I receive you. Jesus. Lord, Lord, 
and Savior. Savior. Pray that prayer. This is the most wonderful, more than any prophecy yeah. tonight. Salvation. Yeah. Your name in the book of life. Yeah. Prophecy will pass away. The word of God will never pass away. Yeah. So God bless you all. I'm out.